Hey there fellows, Buddy's Mike here. I'm gonna try and make this guide in, in as easy easy way as possible, as direct as possible. So the original guy who made uh, this, this mod work, I'm gonna have his video link in the description, but a lot of people were having, a lot of people were still having problems, so I thought I'd make my own version of this tutorial. Fine. I'll do it myself. So I'm gonna have the uh, the guy who originally made the tutorial link in the description, and all the files that you need, the link of those files will be in the description as well. So guys, just follow the steps exactly. I'm sure this will work. So enjoy the video, fellas. All right, guys. So this is the video I was talking about, and these links I'm gonna have them in my description as well, and I'm gonna have the link to this video in the description as well, in case you guys want to check it, because he's the main guy. <coughs> so there are two files. One is the mod loader, the old one, and the second one is these are the mods. I'm gonna have both of them open in different tabs. Okay, this one um, just starts to download. Yeah, the installer starts to download as soon as you click on the modder installer and then these are the mods you can download these mods and you can download them like this so after that is complete then the mod gets downloaded it is it, it takes a bit it's, it takes a while and then what I'm gonna do is these are the two files that are of my concern I'm gonna keep them together in one place I'm just gonna let's say I'm gonna keep them over here VTOL old mods so these are the two important files that you need for them the link is in the just in the description so in so this uh, this zip file you can just extract it over here Extract files here, and then you can delete the zip file if you want. So these are the two main things. One is the installer, one is the actual mods that has all the mods, right? So what you need to do is click on VTOL and go to workshop, go to browse, and click on subscribed, and then unsubscribe from all the workshop items that you have because otherwise the previous the the new subscriptions are gonna interfere with the old version of the game and it's gonna mess up things and then you uninstall the game and you gotta do a clean install so you make sure that there's no residue so you go to Steam's library common VTOL just delete the whole damn thing so now there are no traces of VTOL here okay now you gotta install the old version of this game you go to betas and you go to this version over here 1.2.1 f5 click on this then you install it back to where it was before <coughs> and then you let the install finish all right so vtol old version is now ready so what you want to do next is now now you got to be very careful with the next step otherwise it's going to mess up the whole thing go back to the these are the folders where your two main files are so you run as administrator and you just gotta let it run and then it's gonna ask for where the VTOL is installed and then you gotta guide it to where the VTOL is is actually installed so this is where it's installed for me I press open open and now I just click next uh, start menu desktop shortcut mm, I don't need it and I go next it is installed do not launch if you launch at this point you'll probably ruin everything just close it what you want to do next is go to where the mod loader is installed that is in VTOL VR folder so you go to mod loader and you want to delete the updater okay so delete that and you make a copy of the launcher 
and name one of the launcher as updater. Now you need a settings file. The settings file get created when you launch the mod loader. And now it's going to get into this loop because it's trying to update, but it's not getting the updater, it's getting that exe. So you just force close it and now you have the settings file over here. So you open the settings file uh, for auto update, just change it to false. Save that, close it, and now it's not going to update, right? But you don't have the mods, so you gotta paste all the mods over here. So you go back to your own mods, you just either you copy these or you just copy the whole mods folder and you gotta paste it where the mods folder needs to be. That is over here. All right, now you got all the mods. So now you open the mod loader. Uh, you open the mod loader from here, run as administrator, or you can just go to properties and compatibility. And okay, it's all reset to run as administrator. So you open that. <coughs> so now you have all these mods. Okay, and you click on play and it should work. And there are still steps you need to follow exactly how I do it. All right, so let's see. We have the mods um, option over here now. So you can select any of these mods. I'm going to select the 810. I'm going to load it and there's going to be a small delay. It's, it's loading up the mod, which is a good thing. If there's a delay, that means it's working. So once it says load it, go back. Go back to select pilot, select pilot. For vehicle, you're gonna have A10 over here. When you click on select, nothing's gonna happen. So you, but you need to click on select once, and then you go back to FA26. So the mod actually replaces the FA26. So you select FA26, you select, configure, and voila, you have the A10 over here. So you, what you could do is, I have already set up something for the A10 which is this beautiful heavy loaded A10. And then you can select morning or whatever, you can launch, and you have the working A10 mod, which is spectacular in my opinion. So if you wanna change the aircraft, go back to mods list in the game, you select another aircraft, you load it up, and then you select the aircraft in the select menu, and then you go back to FA26 and you, you're gonna get that plane. I would recommend flying the A-10, the F-16, and the Nighthawk. These are the aircrafts that I really like in this list of mods. So I hope this video was any help to you guys. If you have any other suggestions for VTOL videos, do let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Buddy Spike, out.